In this video, you'll learn how to automate reports by combining multiple files into one dynamic table using Power Query, saving hours of manual work. Let's dive in. First, understand the goal. We're working with several CSV, text, or Excel files that all follow the same structure, such as monthly exports from another system. Our goal is to combine all these files into a single unified table that updates automatically whenever new data is added. Let me open one of the files so you can see the data. Each file follows the same structure since they're exported from the same system, making it easy to combine them. I'll close this one now and switch over to my main example file. Now, launch Power Query to combine files. In your main Excel workbook, go to Data tab, click Get Data from File from Folder. Browse to the folder containing all your files. Click Open. Next, combine the files. You'll see a list of files Power Query found. At the bottom, have a few options. Combine and transform data, combine and load, or combine and load to, which lets me choose the destination. Since we need to make some adjustments to the data, we'll go with combine and transform data. Power Query will prompt you to specify the data location. Just select sheet one where your data is stored. Confirm with OK. Next, clean and prepare your data in Power Query Editor. Review the Queries pane. On the left, you'll see queries automatically generated. The last query, named Data, is the one you'll work with. And if we click the filter on the Source Name column, we'll see all five files listed. So we know that our data from all five files has been successfully combined into this one table. Now, we don't actually need the file name column in our dataset, so we can go ahead and remove it. Select it and press Delete. Add calculated columns, hold Control, and select order quantity and unit cell price columns. Go to Add Column tab, Standard, Multiply, A new column appears. Double-click its header, rename to sales amount, and press Enter. Optionally, drag it next to unit cell price. Next, name your query. In the name box, top right, rename it to sales data confirm changes. Look at the applied steps pane on the right. Every action you've done, delete columns, add columns, is saved. Next time you refresh, all steps repeat automatically. Next, load data to Excel. Go to Home tab in Power Query. Click the drop-down on Close and Load, Close and Load 2. Choose how you want to load the data. Table in Worksheet. If you want to use formulas referencing the table. Pivot Table Report or Pivot Chart, more efficient. For this example, load to a table in an existing worksheet you prepared. Click OK. Just like that, you've achieved one-click Excel automation. Your consolidated data is ready to go. Verify consolidated data. Check the table. Make sure you see all rows from all files. For example, confirm the order date shows January through May data. Let's explore how we can leverage Excel tables to automate other parts of our workflow and make reporting even more efficient. Use structured references. Now that your data is in an Excel table, it automatically has structured references. Insert, pivot table. Place it in your prepared worksheet. In the pivot table field list, drag ship mode to columns. Drag order date to rows. Drag sale amount to values. Format numbers. Right-click a value. Number formatting. Use comma separators, no decimals. Next, 
Insert a chart. Select the pivot table, then go to Insert and choose a clustered column chart, or any chart you prefer. After that, remove the field buttons. Move the legend to the top and remove the grid lines for a cleaner look. Next, insert formulas referencing the table. To see how formulas work dynamically, in a cell, write a formula to calculate total sales. Equals sum function. You can select the column header to auto-fill the reference. For sales amount. Next, for total units sold. Now, let's add one for total units sold. Instead of selecting the table with your mouse, you can simply type the name of the table. Sales data. Press tab to auto-complete it, then open square brackets to see the list of columns. Choose order quantity. Press tab to select it. Close the brackets, close the sum function, and that's it. Format these results with commas and no decimals. Now, let's say a new month has rolled around and it's time to update our reports. First, I'll copy the current values and paste them as values using Control plus Shift plus V. This makes it easy to compare later. Let's also format them for better visibility. When we add the new data file, we should see these numbers increase. I'm now in the folder where my files are stored. I'll paste in the new June data file using Control plus V, then switch back to Excel. Head over to the Query Output Sheet, go to the Data tab on the ribbon, and click Refresh All. Power Query runs and updates the table, and you'll see that June's data has been added. When we check the report, the formulas have already updated because the source table has grown. However, you might notice the pivot table still only shows data up to May. That's because it refreshed before Power Query finished updating the table. No problem, select any cell inside the pivot table. Just click Refresh All again. Now, both the pivot table and the chart reflect the updated data, including June. Ideally, you'd set the Power Query to load directly into the pivot table or pivot chart from the start. That way, you'd only need to click Refresh All once. If you need multiple pivot tables or charts, simply copy and paste them. They'll all refresh automatically with a single click. Done. You now have an automated workflow to combine multiple files into one clean dataset. Self-updating tables, formulas, pivot tables, and charts. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials.